Hello all, welcome to Get Into IAS and in this video we are going to deal with the lesson Environmental Impact Assessment presented by me Shipnas. So let's move into the topic. So coming to the Environmental Impact Assessment, there were previously two questions asked in mains. So let's deal with the two questions. First one is, which was asked in 2014, denotes what is. The environmental impact studies are increasingly undertaken before a project is cleared by the government. Discuss the environmental impact of coal-fired thermal plants located at coal pit heads. And the second question which was asked in 2016 was, the rehabilitation of human settlement is one of the important environmental impacts which always attracts controversy while planning major projects. Discuss measures to mitigate this impact while proposing major development projects. By reading these two questions, you would have very well understood what an environmental impact assessment is. Let's move into the top. First thing, according to the Indian laws, right, the project developers has to submit the environment impact assessment. In case if you are doing a project in India, you are the project developer. And what you should do is, you should submit a report on the environmental impacts that is happening around in and around the project. So what lately is happening is, according to the Indian laws, the project developer should submit the environmental impact assessment. Later what is happening is, the same project developer, that is if you are a project developer, you should hire an independent agency. That is, you should hire an independent agency that is commissioned by the project developer. That is, you are hiring an independent agency and that independent agency will look into the environmental impact. So, if you are developing a project in and around, that independent agency will come and note down all the points relating to the environmental impacts if the project is developed and hence submit the report. For example, if you are building a highway, First thing is, you should hire an independent agency. So, we already saw we should hire an independent agency. That independent agency, what they'll do? They will see the impacts relating to the environment. And what are the impacts of building a highway? First thing is cutting down of trees. So, they should see what and all impacts will happen if you cut down the trees. And then the report is submitted. So, what is the purpose of environmental impact assessment? First thing is the mitigation measures to minimize adverse impact on environment. So when you do something against the environment, there will be impacts created by the environment again. So the mitigation measures will be given by the environmental impact assessment. So that is the main purpose under the environmental impact assessment. So the next thing is, what is the role of the government under the environmental impact assessment? So, the role of the government is when a project is given under the environmental impact assessment, it is either cleared or rejected by the expert appraisal committee. So, this expert appraisal committee either clears the project if all the guidelines are satisfied or rejects the project if the guidelines are not satisfied and they give the reasons why the project is not accepted. And then this expert appraisal committee is either from the central government state government or the district authorities. But then who decides the project on behalf of the central government or state government or the district authorities depends upon the size of the project. So it depends on the size of the project whether the central government or state government or the district authorities will involve in the selection process. So what is happening is the size of the project is very big and the impacts are huge. It will definitely go to the central government. And then the next point under the role of the government is the environment ministry also ensures that various companies are also complying with the norms. If there are companies and industries set up already, the environmental ministry will check whether the norms are being followed under the environmental impact assessment. The third thing is, this is a current affairs related news, that is the environment ministry is lacking staff. That is the environment ministry is lacking staff and then the environmental impact assessment levels will go down. So then there is a proposed project like giving all the projects of environmental impact assessment to the organization in IITs, that is the research department of the IITs. So this is a proposed project but not implemented, so keep it in mind. And then the example of the environmental impact assessment is, normally we saw the second question, right? of people involving in the environmental impact assessment. So what really happens is, if you are building a dam inside a forest, 
the people over there will live so you have to shift this people from one place to another and then there will be a lot of cutting of trees so there are two impacts over here one is related to the people one is related to the environment what is an environmental impact assessment the environmental impact assessment in environmental impact assessment you should decrease the level you should minimize or decrease the level of impacts happening to the environment so under this you should see a way that the environment is not damaged badly and then the livelihood of the people also will be affected and hence the government should give compensation to shift these people from this place to another place so these are the role of the government so we've done with environmental impact assessment meet you in our next chapter thank you for watching please subscribe